Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So welcome to my new course that is Node.js. So what is a Node.js? So here at the end you will be able to see the letters JS. So JS means it's a JavaScript, we know it. So what is the use of this Node.js and why we need to use learn this Node.js? Let's try to learn it. So Node.js basically it is an open source and cross platform JavaScript runtime environment. So Node.js is not a programming language. So Node.js is not a language. If you try to see the .NET, you will be having a .NET runtime and also a .NET development bundle kit which provides you the language uh, on which you can write the coding .NET code C sharp .NET like this ASP .NET. But whereas the Node.js is not a combination of uh, programming language, it's a JavaScript runtime environment, environment. So that means it creates an environment which runs the JavaScript language. It is a popular tool for almost any kind of project. So in, your, in any kind of project, if you try to see these days, Node.js is the most common one which we will be using always. So why we use this Node.js actually? So how the Node.js runs basically? Node.js runs the V8 JavaScript engine. So what is this V8 JavaScript engine? We'll try to learn it. The core of the Google Chrome outside of the browser. Normally, if you try to see the JavaScript executes only in the browser. You know that JavaScript generally executes only in the browser. When it executes the JavaScript in the browser, how it will execute it? the v8 runtime engine okay it's a v8 runtime engine we can also say v8 runtime engine here we are why we are saying trying to say v8 runtime engine v8 engine this javascript engine is the main thing which is responsible to execute the javascript code so whatever the javascript code executing in the browser in the browser you will be having a v8 javascript engine which will execute the javascript and now this node.js also uses this v8 engine only something like uh, v8 software or something like that you can say so this executes the javascript outside the browser normally up to now we have seen that javascript executes only in the browser right whereas this node.js executes the javascript outside the browser so in order to execute the javascript outside of the browser it uses the v8 javascript engine which the browser also uses the same v8 only this allows Node.js to be very performant. So because of this reason, Node.js is very special. Why? Because it executes the JavaScript outside of the browser. So there is no need for us usage of the browser to execute the JavaScript. Node.js is basically a JavaScript runtime. We know about the JavaScript that it is a programming language. So we already know that JavaScript is a programming language. Whereas Node.js is not a programming language. It's a JavaScript runtime runtime so that means which uses which executes the javascript language normally why we use this javascript we use the javascript to manipulate the dom in the browser typically we will be using in the browser so we used to manipulate the dom and these are all the things some some browser actions related actions we will be doing so when javascript is in the browser because why because so because the javascript actually runs in the browser so we use the browser related techniques and all those things to execute the javascript in the browser so we use the dom manipulations and all those things whereas now if you go to the node.js node.js does not execute in the browser if you try to do dom manipulation methods in the node.js it runs outside the browser so that means outside the browser means it it runs it, it doesn't use the browser it doesn't run inside the browser it will run outside so now there will be no browser and there will be no dom manipulations and all those things so not only in the browser, we can use JavaScript to run in the server with the help of Node.js. Now the actual we have came into the existing. So now outside the browser means there is nothing but a server. So in another computer or somewhere like that. So not only in the browser, we can also use the JavaScript to run in the server with the help of now, now Node.js makes the JavaScript to run outside the server, outside the browser. So that means we can use this JavaScript to run in the server also. In details, we can say that Node.js helps to run the JavaScript outside of the browser. So now, let's try to learn Node.js. I already told it. Now we are able to run the Node.js inside the server where the .NET, PHP, Ruby, these all the 
language is also running the server in the same scenario we can use the node js so that means we can develop an application so how does this node js works in the server so the outside the browser i already told you that node js uses the v8 runtime engine so this v8 software so this v8 is simply the name of the javascript engine which was built by the google the google chrome uses this v8 engine only to in order to execute the javascript v8 engine normally takes the javascript code the code running in the browser <clears throat> or node javascript code and compiles it to the machine code so what does this v8 run v8 javascript engine does it takes the javascript code whether it may be the code running in the browser or maybe the code running in the node environment it takes the javascript code and compiles it to the machine code something like a machine code so how is this v8 so now v8 is written in the c++ language okay v8 is written in the c++ language node typically takes help of that v8 code base and adds certain features like file system and adds these features to the v8 engine so now you may be having a doubt that okay v8 run engine is using uh, v8 running v8 javascript engine is executing the javascript and it is converting it to the machine code so now what is the use of this node js then so v8 is doing all the tasks then what is the use of this node js is normally in the javascript the browser adds adds some features to the javascript like dom manipulation methods these are all the methods it will add, try to add it whereas here in the node js it is running outside the browser so we may be having some additional features like file system means uh, accessing the file in the computer in the in the computer reading the file deleting a file whereas in the browser we cannot access so that's a security threat for us so whereas in the not node js so these type of features the node js adds to the v8 engine and it makes this as a powerful so that is the reason of node js so node js adds certain features to the v8 front engine to give more features so node js has a very big advantage so here we need to understand about the node js that node js has a very big advantage because millions of front end developers that write javascript for the browser are now able to write the server side code also so there is now most of the front end developers may be having a doubt right they need to implement the back end server side technologies now for, for implementing the server side technology server side uh, implementation they need to learn any other programming language something like java dot net php ruby so these are all the things which will be executed in the server so for implementing the back end applications or apis so we need to have server side code so now the front end developers there is no need to learn the new programming language so they can know so already they know the javascript and they can use this javascript to implement the server side code in addition to the client side code without the need to learn a completely different language so this is the main agenda of this node node js has a unique advantage so the front end developers who has a basic touch in the back end how it works means so they need they know, there is no need to learn about the back end technology they can directly implement that one in node js <coughs> normally now it comes the browser when we are trying to implement the new ecmascript features so we used to compile that one ecmascript into the older version of the javascript in order to make it useful for all the browsers that's correct right that's fine why because the browsers we cannot assume that the client uses the same updated browser so we cannot use the latest technologies so that is the reason we are using compilers and webpack and all those tools you got to convert it into other new older version whereas in the node js there is not a version so in node js the new ecmascript standards can be used without any problems so you can use whatever the new ecmascript features that has been introduced you can use it without any problems as you don't have to wait for all your users to update their browsers you are in charge of deciding which ecmascript version to use by changing the node js version so the particular node js version you can update it so that the new ecmascript features you will be getting so you can use it without any problem <coughs> So you may be thinking that this JavaScript was a long time before. So this Node JS is also a long time before. No, Node JS was in as is only thirteen years, two thousand nine or something like that. The first Node JS was introduced. So Node JS is only thirteen years old, whereas JavaScript, if you consider it, is twenty six years old, and the web it is thirty thirty three years old. So compared to this JavaScript and the web, which was much older, Node JS came only a decade only. 
so how actually node js performs so what is the difference between the other programming languages server side programming languages and node js normally the other programming language uses the multiple threads or multiple th processes to uh, to fulfill a request for example when a request comes it creates a new thread or a new process new process normally is used to says process process per request actually with other programming languages executes executes the code with a process per request so that means every if any request comes http request if new process will be created and if any other request comes and another process will be created now this process will wait wait until this request is served then afterwards that process will be ready to a, take another request whereas in node js it is not the thing <coughs> Node.js provides a set of asynchronous I/O primitives, input-output primitives, in its standard library that prevents JavaScript code from blocking. And generally, libraries in Node.js are written in non-blocking paradigms only. So now the Node.js works in a single process, and this doesn't block the process. For example, when a new request comes in another programming language, normally what will happen is the Node.js, uh, the other programming language, creates the process and it blocks that process. Okay, that that process will be blocked until that request is completed. Whereas in Node.js, it's a single process. That single process only will be responsible for handling all the requests. When a request comes to the Node.js or server, it takes up the request. The, the same process, the single thread takes up the request and it sends so for, for example, if you want any data that needs to become from file system or any that needs to become from any database means. So it will send that one and it will uh, and now that process is ideal why because it needs to get the data from the dead back end database so it will uh, automatically takes up the new request again so why because it is already sitting ideal until the request comes until the data comes from the database it is ideal so it will take up the request and it will process the next request also so that that request is uh, in dependency on another one means so it will handle the next request, next request by the time if the first request get the data from the database means it immediately the process jumps to that one and process that one so like this, so we are making use of that process instead of blocking and waiting. So we are completely ma uh, making use of that process. So that is the reason Node.js is different from the other programming languages. This allows Node.js to handle thousands of concurrent connections. So that means multiple connections, concurrent simultaneous connections with a single server. So he, there in that other programming language, there, is, there will be a limit for the process. So for example, if uh, there are eight threads can handle multiple means eight requests can be handled concurrently so now if another request comes means so it needs to wait until the request is another request already pipeline request should be fulfilled so it will be waiting so but here whereas the node js is not the matter so when the process is ideal so it will be concrete concrete connections will be here without introducing the burden of managing the thread concurrency which could be a significant source of bugs so this is all about the node js so this is all about the Node.js. So Node.js operates in a single process, single thread, whereas the other programming languages handles in a multi-threaded, multi-process. So here the main difference comes is the Node.js. Uh, the Node.js and other programming comes here. Hope you understood about the introduction of this Node.js. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.